Okay, so we're gonna actually start tonight, we're gonna to actually start by lying down. So you're gonna come all the way onto the mat. We're actually gonna start in a Shavasana-like position. So you can take the ankles out wide, you can have the arms by the side with the palms upward facing. And then just shifting the shoulders away from the ears and, and feel for like letting your body arrive on the mat. And what I mean by that is feeling like the, the spine as it rests into the earth. You might get a sense of the backs of the legs, the buttocks the upper back, the back of the head. And then we're just gonna to start to add in a little bit of movement with the arms. So as you inhale, you'll take your arms over the head. And then as you exhale, bring your arms down. So just do one more like that. So inhale, arms come over the head. And then exhale, the arms come down. And we're going to start to add a breath count in. So inhale, arms up for five, two, three, four, five. And then exhale, just lower the arms, no count. Inhale up for six, two, three, four, five, six. And then exhale, lower the arms down, no count. Inhale up for seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And exhale, arms down, no count. And then lastly, inhaling up for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale, lower the arms down. And just take a breath in there with the arms relaxed. Let your body relax even deeper on the breath out. And the whole idea when we're working with the, the heart in Tantric Hatha, it's about um, developing the length of the inhale. So we increase our capacity to receive, to uptake, to draw in. That's a little bit what we'll be focusing on tonight, our ability to, to draw things in. So we're, we're nourishing ourselves and then from that place of fullness, when we're tucked up, we can give to others without giving from an empty cup. All right, bend the knees, feet flat, like you're setting up for bridge pose and we're gonna work with what we call a dynamic bridge. So the arms will be by the side, the knees will be bent. And then as you inhale, the pelvis lifts and the arms come over the head. Okay, from there, as you exhale, the pelvis lowers and the arms come down. Okay, so we'll just do one more movement without the breath. So inhale, pelvis lifts, arms come overhead. And then exhale, pelvis lowers and the arms come down. And we're going to start to add a count to the breath. So we inhale up for five, two, three, four, five and then we exhale to lower no count on the exhale and then we inhale up for six two three four five six and exhale to lower inhale up for seven two three four five seven and exhale to lower and 
Inhale up for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale to lower. Okay, the next inhale, lift the pelvis. It doesn't have to come all the way up. And then interlace the fingers at the lower back and just start to walk the shoulder blades together. So as the shoulder blades squeeze through the back of the heart, you want to feel like the, the upper back is lifting away from the floor. And it's all about feeling the expansion across the front of the chest, like up near the collarbones. And then focus on breathing in for up to eight. Just the best you can, don't worry if it's not eight, six, seven, whatever you can. Just exhale naturally. With each time you breathe in, feel the breath moving through the front of the heart, like up towards the upper chest, up towards the collarbones. And then maybe on the next inhale, you feel the breath through the back of the heart. So you want to feel like the breath is reaching through the sides, the back and the front. from there take a final inhale and as you come down lower your upper back your mid back and then your lower back down and pause there for a moment so I'm going to take a breath in through the nose and out through the nose And then draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little bit of a rock back and forth, maybe a couple of times. Then we're gonna come up onto the hands and knees. And tuck the toes and exhale into downward facing dog. So let the back of the head go. And take an inhale through the sides of the rib cage. And as you exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. Let's come into a forward fold and let the back of the head go. A little bit of a bend through the knees. And then slowly roll your spine on up to standing. You might take the arms up over the head as you feel for length through the spine. And then exhale, hands to heart. So we're going to move through a round of salutations that is called Chandra Namaskar. So it's a little bit more cooling. And what it does is it creates like a sattvic, um, like a peacefulness in the mind rather than a real aliveness, which what sons can do. So starting from the back of the mat, inhale the arms up. And then as you exhale, start to sink your hips down towards your heels. Inhale, walk your hands forward into a tabletop position. And then tuck the toes and press to down dog as you exhale. Step the right foot forward for warrior one. Come up on the inhale. Just take the time to set this up. There's no rush. You want to feel for a lunge through the front thigh and an active engagement through the back thigh. And we'll take an inhale to lift a little through the sideways, but keep a bit of a forward fold in action through the spine. And then as you exhale, maybe sink a little bit deeper. And then inhale straight in the front leg. So we're more of a pyramid position as you lift up through the side ribs. And then as you exhale, extend over that front leg. So coming into the forward fold. 
Come up onto the fingertips as you inhale. So you might need to make the feet a little bit narrower. And then fold again as you exhale. From there, plant the palms, step to plank. Come forward on an inhale and then lower all the way down on an exhale. Cobra is an inhale, so maybe keeping the lower belly on the floor, just lifting the upper chest. Thighs engage. Lower the chest down and press to down dog as you exhale. Downward facing dog. And we'll take a full feeling breath in there. So long extended inhale. And when you exhale, just draw the navel back towards the spine. Just gentle. And we go to the opposite side. So left foot forward for warrior one. Coming up on the inhale. So again, we want to keep just a little bit of a lean forward in the chest there. Sinking a little bit deeper through that front thigh as the shoulder heads relax. And then the next breath in, straight in the front leg, so you're in pyramid. Back foot might come in a little. And extend forward over the front leg as you exhale. Halfway lift up onto the fingertips. Keep the chin tucked under. The back of the neck is long. And then fold again as you exhale. From there, plant both palms, step to downward facing dog only. So you can have as much of a bend in your knees in down dog as you need. And feel for the spreading of your breath on the inhale through the back of the body. The navel draws back towards the spine on exhale as you continue to let the back of the head go. The next inhale, the knees go down. So we're back in tabletop. And then as you exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet and we come into the low squat. From there... Inhale, arms up, press through the legs, straighten the legs, all the way up. And then fold forward as you exhale. So hands can be on the shins here, our peace fingers grab the big toes. And inhale, halfway lift, keep the chin tucked under. And exhale to fold forward over the legs. Keep the knees as bent as you need. Come up into chair pose, inhale, chest lifts, fingers spread. And then straighten the legs, hands to heart as you exhale. So do one more round like that, we'll move a little bit quicker, but feel free to go at your own pace. Okay, so as you inhale, the arms come up. As you exhale, sink down into the squat, so hips to heels. Walk your hands forward to tabletop, inhale. Tuck your toes to down dog on the exhale. Right foot forward for warrior one, inhale. Stay for the exhale. Front leg straightens, inhale. Extend over the front leg as you exhale. Let the back of the neck go. Step back to plank, inhale. Lower all the way down as you exhale. 
Cobra, inhale. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Left foot forward, warrior one, inhale. Stay for the exhale. Front leg straightens, inhale. Extend over the front leg as you exhale. Take an inhale there. Step to downward facing dog as you exhale. It's a full of feeling breath there through the sides of the ribs, through the back of the ribs. A complete exhale. Inhale, the knees go down for tabletop. Walk the hands back to a squat as you exhale, the hips to heels. And then arms come up on the inhale, start to lengthen as you press the legs straight. And folding forward as you exhale. Again, hands on shins. Peace fingers grab the big toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Get a little length through the spine. And then fold forward as you exhale. Let the back of the head go. Come all the way up into chair pose, inhale, big breath. Straighten the legs, hands to heart as you exhale. And from there, just let the arms rest by the side as we pause for a moment here. Feel softness in the knees. Relax the belly. Back of the head over the sacrum. And then from there, step right foot forward and we'll set up for triangle pose. So the front heel intersects the back arch. And then we're gonna inhale the right arm straight up. And extend out as the right arm rests on the right shin. We're going to add a little bit of movement into this today. So, we're going to inhale the left arm overhead. So, you get full length through the left side of the body. Then, we're going to exhale the left arm back towards the left hip. Then, we will inhale, reach the right arm forward. Come all the way up. And then exhale, right hand to the shin. So we'll do a few of these. Inhale, left arm comes over. Exhale, left arm comes back. Inhale, reach the right arm forward, come all the way up. And then exhale, the right hand to right shin. And then we go, inhale, left arm over. So we want to feel like a real arch in through the left ribs. Exhale, the left arm back. Inhale, the right arm forward, come all the way up. And exhale, right hand to shin. So we've got one more, inhale, left arm over. Exhale, the left arm back. Inhale, the right arm reaches, come all the way up. And then exhale, the right arm down. Now you can have your hand on a block here or your shin. 
and we're going to hold this position with the left arm overhead. So if that becomes too much for the shoulder or it's really cranky on the neck, you can also work with your hand back towards your left hip like so. We want to feel as though both sides of the ribs are expanding. And then we're going to work with a breath of inhale for eight and exhale four. So I'm not going to count, I'll let you count. But again, if you can manage to get to eight, inhale seven, exhale four is fine. But it's about feeling for an extension of the inhale. And seeing the, the notion of breathing into the heart, whether that's the front of the heart, the side, maybe even just on the left side, where the ribs are fully open there and, and work on seeing your breath really reach in there. And the next breath in, use that left arm to come all the way up. Just parallel your feet there and pause for a moment with your arms by your side. So I want you to feel for the space through the left side of the ribs in comparison to the right. So just notice, maybe there's more sensation in that place. Maybe you can feel your breath deeper in that place. And then turn the left toes forward. We're going to do the same thing, but on the opposite side. So inhale, the left arm reaches up. Exhale, the left arm to the shin. Inhale, the right arm overhead. Exhale, the right arm back towards the right hip. Inhale, the left arm reaches forward as we come all the way up this time. And then exhale, the left arm goes to the shin again. Inhale, the right arm over. Exhale, the right arm back. Inhale, the left arm reaches forwards, come all the way up. And then exhale the left arm down again. Inhale the right arm overhead. So feel an opening, a bowing open through the right ribs. Exhale the right arm back. Inhale, reach the left arm forwards. Come all the way up. Exhale, left hand to the shin. Inhale, the right arm overhead, extend through right side. Last time, exhale, the right arm back. Inhale, the left arm reaches, come all the way up. And this time we'll go down and hold. So remember, if you want to use a block, you can. Left hand to left shin and the right arm comes overhead ideally but if that's a problem on your shoulder or your neck you can just rest your arm by the right side that's not a problem mostly we, we want to feel as though we're releasing tension around the area of the heart so if where you're positioning your arm feels as though it's just creating more friction then change the position And then let's focus on that sense of extending the inhale. Up to eight, ideally. But again, if eight is really stressful for your body, then maybe six or seven on the inhale. And just stick with four on the exhale. And this sense of feeling the strength and support of the legs. The legs are working, they're active. 
but it allows for an internal unwind of the heart. Like let the heart soften. And next breath, use that right arm, come all the way up. Parallel your feet again as you breathe out and just pause there a moment. Notice when you take a breath in, what moves, what changes. Notice what stays the same. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to the right side. So we'll turn the right toes forward. This time setting up with a warrior two position through the feet. And the first option is to come into right forearm on the right thigh with the left arm behind. So that's option one. The next option is to work into a bind with the front knee bent. So again, make sure that the priority here is that the chest is open it's like you're rolling your right ribs up towards the ceiling. And then the third option is to straighten the front leg. And let's just work with a one-to-one -one ratio of the breaths. So in four, out four. And sense of letting go through the neck, the jaw, the teeth all those areas where we tense habitually. This gradual rotation of the right rib cage skyward just to keep the heart open. We don't want to close the chest down towards the floor. We want to keep open, open. And then from there, release whatever bind you're in. Come on up to standing parallel with feet again. Let's pause for a moment. And then change inside left foot forward. So again, we're in a warrior two position. First option, forearm on the front thigh, half bind. Second option, full bind. Third option, straighten the front leg. I mean, all options, we want to prioritize that opening of the chest. So the rolling back of the right shoulder head. Let the lower belly soften. And try and let the legs be strong, but without force. Like there's a sense of pressing through the legs that's steady, but it's not overstrained. One to one ratio of the breath, in four, out four. And release. Come all the way up. Parallel the feet for a moment. And then step to the top of the mat. As you inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale to fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. And just step into down dog as you exhale. So you might have a little bend in the knees there. Let the back of the head relax. Awesome work from there. Bring both knees down. So keep the right knee on the floor and then take the left leg out. So we're setting up for a modified side plank. Check that the right wrist, elbow and shoulder are stacked. Left leg is on the floor and then the left arm comes up. So that's option one. If you're going a little bit deeper, 
both legs are parallel, feet stacked on the top, left arm up. And then if you want to take it further, you take the left arm overhead. And whatever version, whether it's knee down or up, lift the right hip away from the floor and arc the left rib cage skyward. So one more big feeling breath in there. See if you can open the chest towards the ceiling. And release to downward facing dog only. And take a full breath in there. And out. Then we step the left foot forward. So the left knee goes down. Check left wrist elbow, shoulder stack. This is the modification, option one. Option two, both legs parallel, feet are stacked, active, active. And then option three, right arm over. So you're feeling a bowing open through the right side of the rib cage. And again, feet are flexed. We're pushing the floor away and we're lifting through the hip. One more feeling breath. And release to down dog as you exhale. Step your right foot forward. Not to stand in with your feet parallel. Feet are about three feet apart. Hands are on the hips. Inhale, lift the chest. Forward fold on exhale. So hands can be on the shins here. They can be on the floor. You can have your knees bent a little bit. Inhale up onto the fingertips. Get a lot of length through the spine. So keep your chin tucked. And then folding forward as you exhale. And let the back of the head go. Let's just stick with that one to one ratio of the breath. So in four, out four. See the navel draw back towards the spine as you breathe out. From there, walking all the way up. Okay. Toe heel the feet together. Step to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to fold. Step back to plank. Inhale. Lower all the way as you exhale. So bring the hands to set for cobra. Maybe take them forward a little bit. Give yourself more space. If the legs can draw together, then do that. And then we're going to inhale up into cobra, keeping the lower belly firmly connected to the floor. The chin is tucked under. And then exhale to lower. So we go again, inhale up into cobra. Make sure that the lower back muscles are working. Chin is tucked. And exhale to lower. One more, inhale to come up. And exhale, lower. The next one we're going to come up and stay. So inhale up. It's going to be really low, this cobra, because we want to feel as though we're barely using the hands. So the hands are they're on the floor, but they're barely touching. 
the chin is tucked under, the back of the neck is long and you're reaching through the thighs. And stay for four more breaths here, so feeling the little bit of heat in the lower back. Keeping the belly on the floor so we're grounded. The chin is tucked, but the arms are relatively relaxed. Take one more inhale here. And then lowering on the exhale. Bring one cheek to the mat, rest there for a moment. Relax the legs. And then turn in the cheek the opposite way. And then coming into the next back bend, you can choose. So you're either coming into bow which looks like this. You've got both hands to both ankles, pressing up, keep the gaze straight ahead, chin tucked under, shoulder blades into the back of the chest, or you'll come on up and work with camels. So the thumbs are on the sacrum, the elbows are in, you'll inhale, lift the chest, push the pelvis forward, and move into a relatively tame upper back bend. If you really must go for your heels, do that, but keep the breath steady. And so we've got five breaths here. Making sure that you're choosing an option where the breath is super, super steady. There's no strain. The body's able to hold still. And take one more breath in there, wherever you are. And then slowly come in now as you breathe out. If you're in camel, sit your hips back to your heels. If you're in bow, lay all the way down. Just pause for a moment there. And then we're all going to meet on the floor. So I'm just going to try and maneuver my microphone so that I can keep communicating to you. So you're going to bring your hands to your lower back with your forehead on the floor. And then you will inhale, reach the left arm forward and lift the right leg. Keep the chin tucked under. As you exhale, you're going to bring the left arm back, lower the right leg down and turn the left cheek to the floor. Then we're going to inhale the right arm forward and the left leg lifts. And when you exhale, you'll bring the right cheek to the floor and the arm and leg lower. So we'll go again, inhale left arm, right leg. Exhale left cheek to the floor. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, right cheek to the floor. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, left cheek to the floor. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, right cheek to the floor. We're going to do one more on each side. Inhale, left leg. Le pardon me, left arm, right leg. Exhale, left cheek. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, right cheek. And set your body pause there for a moment. Changing cheeks. And 
and then coming on up to all fours. So we're back in a tabletop position. And the movement goes from the inhale into all fours, exhale into child's pose. So we've got inhale all fours, and exhale into child's pose. And start to add on the breath. So inhale up for five, two, three, four, five, and exhale back for four, two, three, four. Inhale up for six, two, three, four, five, six, and exhale back for four, two, three, four. Inhale up for seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and exhale back for four, two, three, four. Inhale up for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, exhale back for four, two, three, four. Now let your forehead rest on the floor. Stay in child's pause. Just bring the awareness back to breathing in four, out four. Let your body rest. And take one more breath through the back of the body there. Exhale out. And come all the way up to kneeling. And we're going to go into what we call gate pose. So the left knee is on the floor and the right leg comes out extended like so. Okay. That's it. Best you can. And then inhale the right arm up. Take the right arm onto the right leg and exhale the left arm over. So only as far as you can, no strain. Just wanna feel an opening through the left side of the body. Let's take one more big breath in there as you activate the right leg. Stay as you breathe out. And then come all the way up on the inhale and change sides. So the right knee is down, the left leg extends. Inhale the left arm up, over to the left side as you exhale, and then inhale right arm over. So again, we wanna feel this lifting up through the chest, extending through the right arm, letting go through the right side of the neck. And take one more breath in there. Stay for breath out. And coming all the way up. Easy. Inhale. Come all the way down onto your back as you exhale. I'm going to work with a, a dynamic twist. You might need to just manoeuvre the space you're in. But you can take your arms out to shoulder height. Great. If there's not enough room for that, you can just work with cactus arms. Okay. We're going to extend the left leg straight down on the mat, but take the right leg straight up. So don't worry about the leg being straight, just like as straight as you can. And then we're going to inhale, push up through the right heel. And then as you exhale, we'll take the right leg halfway over to the left, so it's hovering above the floor. It's like parallel. 
and then we're going to come back again on the inhale so the right leg comes back up and over to the left again on the exhale and we'll just do that three more times so inhale the leg comes up exhale the leg goes over inhale leg lifts exhale leg over last one inhale the leg up take it over as you exhale and hover there but stay now we're going to inhale, bring the left heel towards the left butt, pardon me, the right heel towards the right butt. So the right knee is bent. And then we're going to exhale, straighten the leg again. So we've got inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. One more, inhale to bend. Exhale to straighten. And then the next inhale, bend. Use the left hand to bring that knee a little bit closer to the chest. We'll come into a supine twist. So the right knee doesn't need to go all the way over. It, it can hover if that's okay for your back. What I would like you to do is explore so you can gaze towards your right fingertips. See how that feels in your neck or something I quite like is gazing in the same direction as the right knee. You just feel that bit of opening through the upper right side of the chest. Maybe even to the right side of the neck. Just a couple of breaths here, let the back of the body relax. leg right back on the inhale take it up extend and then lower it all the way down on the exhale just pause there for a minute see how that feels from one side to the other just be curious really it feels for me like the right side so much more alive And let's go to the other side. So we take the arms out this time. The left leg goes up on the inhale and over to the right on the exhale. So inhale the leg back. Over to the right on the exhale. Got three more. Inhale the leg back. Over to the right on the exhale. Last two, inhale. Over to the right on the exhale. Final one, inhale. Over to the right on the exhale. Pause there and we'll do that thing again with the knee. So I'm going to inhale, we bend the left knee, heel towards the left butt, and then we exhale, extend. Inhale, bend, and exhale, extend. Last one, inhale, bend, exhale, extend. And then finally the knee bends and we take it all the way over to the right. Keeping the knee up towards the chest and the gaze either towards the left fingertips or in the same direction as the knee. Okay, we just want to feel no strain, no tension, no holding. Let the back of the body relax. And 
bringing everything back to your center on the inhale. Come on up to seated as you breathe in. We're just gonna finish with a forward fold. So legs can be straight. If that's too much on the hamstrings, you can also cross the legs. Okay. Otherwise we inhale the arms up. Put the spine long as we exhale forward. Chin is tucked. Inhale halfway. And fold forward over the legs. And just do another one like that. So we inhale to come up, keep it moving. Exhale to fold. Inhale halfway. And then folding forward on the exhale and stay here this time. Let the back of the neck relax. Shoulders away from the ears. One to one ratio of the breath, so steady in, steady out. inhale come all the way up lower the hands by your side as you exhale sit tall chin tucked spine long and then from there come into final rest come all the way down taking the ankles out wide maybe Shoulders away from the ears, palms are put facing. The chin is tucked, so the neck is long. Maybe a minute of abdominal breathing as you settle into this final rest. Let the breath move in and out of the space that you've created around the heart, in the physical and also the energetic sense. Feel that swirl of pran vayu surrounding the heart.
begin to draw the breath back in. Feel this sense of new energy as it moves through the body, through the cells, through the skin, all the way through the bones. And bringing the feet together maybe as you reach the arms overhead, full body stretch. And eventually rolling over to one side. Coming all the way up, slowly, slowly. Come to kneeling or seated. Just bring the hands to rest easy at the heart. So we bow the head towards the hands and take a breath in through the nose. And the breath out, we surrender the intelligence of the mind to the wisdom of the heart. Knowing that the two together coherently working is where the true wisdom lies. We take one more deep breath in. And with gratitude, complete the practice. Namaste.